How you doing? I'm Copper Mike from Graves and Cycles. Uh, we're just gonna we have our stuff in the PGS exhibitions in Manhattan. We're gonna walk you around, just show you some of the bikes that we've done. This so uh, this bike's in tolerance. Um, it's a bike that I, I traveled in Europe a little bit, and I saw a lot of mosaic tile stuff, and uh, I wanted to tie in the copper work that I do with uh, mosaic or glass glass work. So um, I made this tank. Uh, I usually order like flat 16 gauge copper. Uh, I order the copper, it comes in a flat sheet, I make a pattern for it, we hand hammer it. I usually do motorcycles, but I do other pieces of art and obviously they're always uh, involved with copper or copper is incorporated in them because of my love for copper. So, you know, while antiquing in Brooklyn, um, going to a couple antique stores and uh, vintage stores, I saw this steel um, guitar. Once again, I use my 16 gauge copper. Um, I just got a pattern, I made a pattern, hand hammered the top, I silver soldered all around it. Um, I worked with a, uh, a, a guitar guy that made this, the neck. We uh, gold plated all of the, um, the tuning things. I don't even know the parts and pieces of it because like I said, I'm not a, not a musician. Uh, but I think it looks great. I'm, I'm real proud of the way it came and real excited about it. This is a 60s Schwinn that I, uh, I bought and it was a wreck. Um, and I, I just wanted to do like a beach cruiser bicycle. That was my style, my, my influence. But this one we took apart. I plated the frame, had, you know, all completely in copper. I made this, uh, this little gas tank looking you know, piece out of uh, it was almost uh, it was a thinner thinner than a 16 gauge copper because it was almost like a flashing. Uh, hand hammered it, braised it, uh, and then we made the leather straps to install, you know, to hold it up. Um, redid the seat. Um, this bike took about seven months of my life. Um, I took all different antiques, parts, and pieces that uh, I've collected on trips, driving back from out west. My girlfriend and I would stop at various antique stores and you know just compile. We're always compiling antiques, whether it's for the house or for motorcycles or for different projects I do. Um, this one collected a ton of parts. Just started seeing what was right. The the rear fender is an antique uh, fire extinguisher, which they were made of solid copper or brass at the time. I actually made the gas tanks, so I, I like to play with different patinas and. Uh, have to try things look old yet be you know, brand new. Floor boards on a motorcycle were antique fire extinguishers as well. Um, the uh, air cleaner was an old torch that I cut up, um, modified it to fit on you know on the exhaust on the carburetor, and the leftover pieces I just put up here for aesthetics. These are the pieces of the torch that would have originally been on on that piece. So this, uh, this is a 1939 knucklehead, Harley Davidson knucklehead. It's uh, one of my original uh, builds. It's called the Copper Chopper, and it's once again it's done with 16 gauge copper, hand hammered, um, silver soldered. I made the gas tank. I made the oil tank. I made the rear fender. Uh, it's all all uh, just copper. It's not sealed. It's not. And these hold all the fluids, it holds the oil, holds the gas. Uh, it's a functional running motorcycle that is used 